Sorry if you can't hear me, I'm at the gun range, but I had to hide in a little spot where there ain't no wind, but it ain't working, but boom, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, welcome to the channel. My name's Uta Beefs. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram as well, Uta underscore Beefs. Watch this now. I did give you like a little hint in the crowd MPO2 video. The Rexy Max Mito. I bought it obviously. You get me, sir? Yeah. We're gonna have a little play about it. This ain't no review or no. Call it a vlog, half yeah. vlog. Let me show you why I wanted the Mito, yeah? Why I needed the Mito. Remember, this is five and a half foot pound. This is my Webley Electo. Decent pistol. See, it's got the ergonomics in the grip and everything. Adjustable trigger and everything. It's crazy, but this is five and a half foot pound as well. But watch this. To get full power out of this, the five and a half foot pound, this is what I gotta do. And it's a single shot as well. You only get one shot and then you have to do this whole process again. So boom. That's low power. That's medium power. That's high power. That's the five and a half foot pound. You can't decop this either, sir. I just gotta let it go. The meat oh now. Five and a half foot pound. To get the full power out of this, all I've got to do is five and a half foot pound. But remember, this is a PCP. It's like my rifles. That one, you can see it's a pneumatic, but you have to pump that one. There's this one, just a little flick of the lever and it's done. And also, if I do want to get busy, like, I want to get stable, do some proper accurate shots. Switch it into a little mini rifle, put the scope on there. Good to go. I gotta get a proper case for this car. When this has got the stock and the silencer and everything on it, it's longer than the FX Wildcat Mark II with a Tanto silencer or the P15 with a Huggett silencer. And the extension on the buttstock is still longer than that. So I need a proper case car. If I'm going to put a scope on there, I don't want to have to keep taking it off and taking it on and then having to zero it every time. So yeah, I'm going to get a bigger case for this. We're going to have some fun. You get me? So boom. If you don't remember from the, the Mito review, I only had a red dot sight. So watch this quickly and then gonna go to inside the range it's crazy busy down here today so i might have to wait till it gets dark for everyone to go but we're gonna have some fun you look watch this quickly show you the, the little problem if you get a meeto look out for this little problem but watch this vid quick
sorry, it's been busy in the range today, so I ain't really done no recording yet, but it's the traffic's kind of slowing down, so I'm gonna get this video ready. But boom, I done a pellet test quickly with a couple different pellets just to see which ones group best. I got my trusty 5P here as normal. You got no, it's 1.8 millimeters in diameter, so yeah, let's test these groups. Firstly, the JSB 7.8 grains, they're the Express, JXB Express. So boom, you got C5P, 5P, 5P. There's five here and there's four in here because you got nine in the magazine, in it. All right, then the heavies, my go-to pellets. These ones kind of messed up still, but you can just about get four. There's one down here as well, so four, five, ain't too great at all. And then I done a four over here. You got one, two, three, and the fourth one went down here. So yeah, JSB heavies, they're out of the question. Let's move on to the air arms now. All right, so the air arms, they done quite all right, actually. I can't lie. But if you look, no, air arms and JSB are basically the same pellets. They just got different dye. I still don't know what the dye thing means, you know, but yeah, they're the same pellets made in the same factory. They just got different dye. So boom, let's start off with the 787's Air Arms Express. There's five there. I can get it under the four, under the five P easy. But watch this, this is the crazy one. There's four through this hole. Get me five here, four here. There's four through this little, I don't know, but yeah. It's just as good as the, the four hit nice better than that this one went through one hole basically this one had a little spread but yeah it weren't consistent here these two are kind of consistent so yeah that's four and five then we done the air arms fields five again we got four down here remember it's 15 yards sorry i don't think i told you that but yeah five under that we got four under that that's decent i can't lie so all right let's move on to the poly mags and the metal mags now all right and so the poly mags now they done decent i can't lie this is this is a five shot group Ooh. Goes under the 5P easy. Here's another five shot group. It kind of opened up. I don't know if I was rushing. I, to tell the truth, I think the air was running out because I did refill it. So yeah, that's five, but it still goes under the 5P for the Polymax 8.02s. Let's go to the metal mags now. There ain't no metal mags. I was shooting. I don't know where they was going, sir. I gave up on them, so forget the metal mags. Poly mags, decent. Let's go to the Pro Hunter Swage and Slugs now. Uh, they're way heavy car, they're 13 green, so they was dropping. So I actually aimed at the one. And that was the group there, so yeah. This pistol don't like heavy ammunition. I'm gonna stick with the 7.87s now. If you don't remember from the last video, the 20 yard group, I had, what, three different, the 20 yard group I had two, two shot groups and one flyer, but that was with the red dot sight. So now I got the scope on there. So we're gonna go do 20, 25 yards. If we're lucky, we'll go to 30. But yeah, let's do this. I've pissed someone off with a dice slate in here and why they've got 44 or 50. Really? 
Listen, I'm going to go on the road again. I'll be going soon, so you don't need nothing for the shop. Nah, where you want to go? Okay, I'll see you again soon, then, alright? Take care, bye for now. Bye for on the 15 yard zero.
Boom, gang. Let me give you these groups quickly. Got the five piers normal. Let's start off with the 20. Remember, I done the 15 yard with the pellet testing. So I didn't do 15 yards again. I just went straight to 20. So, boom, 20. And I think this is six shots. 5p. Hold on. 5p can cover five. Got one little flyer there. At 20 yards with the scope. At 25 yard now. I think this is six shots. I'll let you know. But I think this is six. Got the 5p there. Yeah. Five or six under the 5p. At 25 yards. Let's move on to the 30. 30 now. I don't know what happened there. I don't know if I got excited, if it was too cold or what, but I can't even see how much shots. This might be two. There's two there. That might be seven, but let's see. I can get three under that. Whatever that is, it might be three under that, but can't really. So gang, you know we're going back for it anyway. Let me set up the gun properly how I need to then, yeah. We're going back for it. Yeah, boom, gang. I'm done. That's my new Mio from Cruelty Surplus Store. Like I keep saying, if you like ain't been there, make sure you come down here. Let me show you why. Because it's not just air guns they've got. Share, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, Uta underscore beefs, and watch this one more thing. Dan gave me another rifle to test out. I ain't gonna tell you what it is now. Just wait for that video next week, gang. I'm done.